this is wild. So DJ Mustard ex-wife Chanel is seeking more than 80000 a month in child support for their three kids. That's wild as hell. So according to documents, she is seeking $82,628 monthly child support payments, joint physical and legal custody of their three minor children, and tie-breaking authority, whatever the hell that is, as it pertains to decisions concerning their health. And her attorney came up with that number because they looked back at his 2020 earnings and it was over $10 million. That's how they came up with the 82000 per month. That is crazy, bro. I don't care where they live. California, New York, Dubai. I don't care. No three kids need 82000 per month. It's simply for the woman to keep up with the lifestyle. But we hear about this shit at least once or twice every year. Uh, these rich ass couples get together, get married, get divorced in this big ass monthly settlement thing. Kanye got to pay Kim Kardashian 200 bands a month. For what? The only way I could understand him paying a lot of money per month is if he's not an active father. If he don't get his kids some days, the kids don't stay at his house, his family members or whoever he hired to watch the kids. Don't get me wrong. If he's a deadbeat father, like he like F them kids, I don't want them to do with you or the kids. Yes, she deserved to tax the hell out of him. But I'm assuming he cares about his kids. They just broken up for whatever reason, whether he cheating or what. They broke up. So you telling me she need $82,000 for three kids? No. At the most, I say $3,000 per kid. That's $9,000 a month. Because the money should go straight for the kids. She said... They need education and clothing and food. Like, what the hell are you providing for them to have that too? And don't say, oh, I'm at home raising the kids. Like, the man and the woman raised the kids. And I know he's an entertainer, so he be gone a lot. But that's where his family members or whoever he trusts to watch the kids can, can fall in line. Like, it shouldn't be all on one person is what I'm saying. So that number is ridiculous. I don't know who started this bullshit, but it shouldn't be how much the man makes per year equates to how much the ex-wife or the baby mama get. It shouldn't be like that. It should be like where you live at, which state you live at. How much does it cost for housing? How much does it cost for food, you know, daycare, etc.? And then they should base it off that. It shouldn't be, oh, if he makes $100 million a year, I need half of that. No. Have you helped them to earn half of that? Is she helping DJ Mustard produce a beat? Promote himself? No. All she did was lay down and had sex with him. Like, I don't want to hear that raise the kids bullshit. Both of them could do that together. Like, that shit is crazy. Her lazy ass need to get up and work. Talking about something, she need the money for the child expenses. Get a fucking job and help. Like, I seriously feel like he shouldn't pay more than $10,000 a month for them three kids. And she need to get her ass up and get on her influencer shit, sell some fashion over, nails, hair, all these other rapper baby mamas do the same thing, or get your ass up, put in some applications for the hospital, for Burger King, from some goddamn well, how about with these damn bills? Crazy, man, what y'all think about this, bud, B? Oops.